Hey guys, welcome back. Davis Drive. It's a hot day. AJ's got me laughing because I watched a lot of YouTube this weekend and I had some pretty funny intros, but uh, we're going to save those for another day because it's hot. I'm trying to get out of this building. If any of you guys want to donate an AC system, sponsor us, we're taking applications. So everybody would appreciate that over here. But really cool two cars actually that have just arrived, both being 1969s. So if 69 is your birth year and you want something from both ends of the spectrum, we can help you out. Uh, been a busy week, busy weekend, a lot of inventory coming in, which also means a lot of inventory went out. We'll bring y'all a couple exit videos of a couple of vehicles here shortly, one being the Shack Excursion, uh, another couple of other ones I want to touch on before they leave, because once they're gone, we can't get any new content. So, 69 Chevelle, it is an SS clone. I have not had time. Y'all are going to blow me up. Take the time to do the VIN number. Literally, this car just got here. Um, I'll take the time to do the VIN number this evening. I doubt it's a true SS. It really doesn't matter whether it is an SS or isn't an SS because it's modified. So its value has changed, of course. Um, LS swap, 4L80 transmission, I believe. Hang on, I had some little specs here in my phone. Yep, 4L80 transmission with overdrive, 12 bolt rear, 411 gear, sleep, C-clip eliminators, aftermarket axles, positive traction, of course. And then we'll get into some of the real creature comforts. But this car was built by the owner of a local speed shop. So he had access to everything and it's really a no expense spare car. Now it's probably a six to eight year old build, if I remember correctly, of when it was finished. And the customer that we got it from, it only had it for a few years. We've been to some car shows with them. The car shows very well. Um, everybody likes something different. You could go back with some classic rallies. You could go with some US mags, like it has, but a different design. You could go with torque thrust, Kragers, or you could go with you know some 18s, 20s. The tire and wheel is an easy change. It's the, really the only thing I think anybody could complain about on the car. Under the hood, you won't even know it's an LS looking at it. It's got some really cool shrouded valve cover covers. Um, the cold air intake, 102 millimeter uh, throttle body. Even the brake booster and the cap here are color matched. Inner fenders are color matched. The firewall's color matched. Cold air condition. It's a vintage AC style system on the car. Cold air condition. It's got a really nice uh, little billet reservoir here. It also has the auto lift hood hinges with the little um, lift valve on them, which is kind of cool. Uh, got the Moroso canister there. I guess that's a puke canister. Um, so really nice, really, really nicely laid out car. Under the hood, it's not gaudy. It's something you'd expect to see, you know, say Barrett Jackson or a high-end quality restoration. Uh, done right. Serpentine belt. Got the louvers in the hood. The paintwork on the car is nice. It's hard to see in here, but this is a three three tone, triple stripe, whatever everybody calls special name. That's under the clear coat, so it is in the clear. Vinyl top's in great shape, all the areas that's normally a problem. It's not bubbling, it's not blistered, it's not acting weird. Uh, of course, we can't look underneath of it. We just have to assume everything's good, and when you don't see any blister in or high spots, that means it's good. Two things on this car before I forget that are not working. One we will address probably later today. Currently, the radio doesn't work. The other thing is the wipers. I don't think the wipers were ever wired. Everything's there, but the wiring on the wiper motor is not there. It's got the digital gauges. It even says service due right there, meaning I guess it's time for an oil change. The stereo is a era correct AM, but it's the new style AM FM Bluetooth stereo. Here's one really cool thing. Go to roll the windows up. Check that out. Power. Just push up, push down, super fast too. I wish square bodies work like that. All the glass is good. It's tinted glass all the way around the car. Smoked pretty nice. Door panels are good. I call it a horseshoe shifter. It's probably called something else. Go ahead and correct me and tell me what it's really called. But I call it a horseshoe shifter. It's got some embroidered floor mats. Uh, air condition is ice cold in the car. Uh, I'll fire it up so AJ can, well, I'll have to walk around back because you got to hear it on the mic.
is very throaty. Uh, zings RPMs really quick because again it's an LS, so it's quick rev, fuel injected. It's not smoking and acting stupid like a carburetor. Again, we love a good carburetor, um, but an LS with the proper fuel injection is a dang good thing. And this is not a throttle body conversion. It's not a uh, carburetor conversion, which you guys see us talk back and forth about a lot. It's just like it would have came out of a newer LS car. Um, Lincoln, that's a 69 suicide door car. We'll bring a specific video about that shortly. Uh, I had a little teaser on our shorts and our uh, TikTok. 460 motor, all original documentation, the original air conditioning thing off the air conditioning system, the original $7,580 window sticker from 1969, the build sheet, and all the original documents, original owner paperwork, all the key stuff. Whole video coming about this one, guys. Don't worry about that. This one, uh, <laughs> this one could probably tell some good stories. Haven't touched it under the hood, have not cleaned it up. Didn't clean that car up either, but that car was garage kept, climate control garage, local good customer of ours. We do business two or three or four times a year, so uh, he's no stranger to uh, having some cool cars and cool trucks and whatever. He even sold his son a uh, mini bike recently, so we always are doing something, but great car, good body lines, cool look. Not overdone, very drivable, street and highway friendly with the overdrive. And you can put a set of tires and wheels. Daniel and Brian can check the backspace and have a set of tires and wheels on this thing in a heartbeat if you wanted something different. But there is nothing wrong with the way this car looks now. Get down and get a little stamp shot of that, AJ, just so people can kind of see how it looks. I mean, the car sets just right. You don't have to worry about rubbing on speed bumps. It sits about the height that it's supposed to be. It was just serviced. It just had a thorough front end alignment by our actual race car tuner that does the front end work on all of our stuff. Um, he spent a lot of time getting the front end alignment perfect. It did have a little pull to it. Um, went over all the struts and everything under it, underneath the car. If you glance under it real quick too, AJ, I don't know what they can really see, but I mean, the car is right. I mean, everything underneath has got the Hotchkiss uh, sway bar. It's had all the bush in, sway bar links, everything replaced. You can see underneath of it, there's no drips except for the cold AC dripping on the ground. Um, it's got the uh, billet pulley there. It's got an anodized oil pan. And the car is built right. You even got the fog lights up here in the bumper. And it will even come with the 69 classic tags if you want. Um, great car, clear title, no issues. Same way with the Lincoln, great car, clear title, nothing you need but to jump in these cars and ride. AC on this one, I have not tried to AC on the Lincoln, it's only been sitting there for like five minutes since I pulled it up, but uh, we will check that one out too. So a couple new arrivals today, a couple of those I brought you earlier. This is a good exciting one though, this car is very impressive. 65000 on this car is what the selling price is going to be. Uh, Lincoln's going to be around 39000 for those asking, y'all always ask for price. So there you go. It will be on the website, though. So will that one. Probably, like I said, a day or two to get them through the shop and get them online. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys appreciate it because it is hot and it sucks to be in here. But I want to bring you guys some videos and content like we promised every day. Thanks again.